Hey, what's going on guys? Logdad Zip here. Yeah, y'all see that wave? You love it, huh? It's all about emotes in Minecraft using the new Quark Mod update. And by new Quark Mod update, I mean these emotes have been here for ages. Get a load of this. We got all these different emote options, and they all do different things. If you want to see all the different modes, we've actually done a video showing off all the emotes that normally come with Quark. Here's a little preview of it now. Check these out. We've got wave. Hey, salute. I appreciate you, man. In fact, so much that I say yes to you. Oh, you like that? Well, no, too bad you can't have any more. Hooray, I say, because I'm teasing you with the emotes. Pretty sweet stuff, huh? Except it gets even better. The maker of Quark Vasky has added an update to the emotes that lets us actually hook them to special commands. So we can do some amazing things. Like for example, we can now rest in the middle of wherever it is we're standing. And my character will just take a little snooze, stand and hanging out, and the world around us gets dark, along with all these different effects like blindness, night vision, hunger, slowness, regen, and weakness. So we successfully just healed ourselves by resting. Except now, we're a little bit weak and we're a little bit hungry. And we have 10 brand new emotes to show off to you today that we have coded specifically for this video. And we're probably going to offer them for you guys to add to your Quark Mod as well. So if you can find out more information about the Quark Mod itself, you can check out the description of this video to find out more. And they were all added courtesy of, again, Vasky as well as Xavier. So thank you to both of them. Their link's in the description as well. And one more thing. <laughs> if you want to see more Quark updates, there's been some actual updates to the mod itself that we have not yet covered in our previous review of the mod. So if you want to see those on the channel, smash the like button already. What are you waiting for? And you should subscribe as well so you can see them right as they come out. Y'all hit that bell too. All right, I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm the worst. I got to do it. It's my job. Oh yeah, t-shirts too, Lincoln Bob. First emote, petting. We can now pet these creatures and it will give them special effects, except we're going to need a few different things first. Hey, wait, shh. It's okay. I've got a new gaming channel. You should check it out. Links in the description. We're gonna find out exactly what we need right now. Find a wolf or cat, walk up and use pet. Pet will increase the health and the strength of the mob that you use it on to become stronger and more resistant for an entire minute. How many skeletons can five normal wolves fight? Interesting. All right, pup, let's see what you're made of. We got five skeletons. How long is it gonna take them? Look at these skeletons trying to escape. Can't do it. Uh-uh, sorry, buddy. You guys are dessert for my little wolves. Look how cute they are. So, made pretty quick work of them, but now we're gonna show you how this thing works once we've pet them all. Oh. So check it out. Stand right next to one of your wolves and then open up your emote menu and look at what happens. We're gonna pet them. Which one's the pet one? I'm trying to find the pet one. Oh, here it is. Pet. Look, we've petted him. Look at him. He's happy. He now has an effect attached to him as well. Here's another look at how that looks from this side. Pet. Look, did you see it? We're petting him. He's the cutest. All right, we're going to pet all these guys. Alternatively, you can also slash emote space the name of the emote down here. Look at that. See, we're petting him just by typing in a command instead. And the final pet. So now we're going to spawn all these skeletons and see how much work it go into now. Look at this. A lot stronger. Like two hitting all of them. And and not only that, but you can actually pet your ocelots as well. Hey, don't run away. I'm trying to... Hey, does he love me? Hey, love me! Look, they're like fighting. Hey, guys, come on. We can all be friends together. I'm going to pet him. You've been pet too. they all been pet. It may, it's good for pets. No, you guys can't come with me. You got to stay put. Oh, look at him trying to... Up next, the Zeus emote. Oh, this one's got to be good, huh? According to this book here, the animation of Zeus will show up no matter what. But it will only actually do something if you're holding a blaze rod and have at least 50 levels. Every time you use Zeus, it will summon in a lightning storm and use up five of your levels. So we've got our blaze rod right here. We're going to give ourselves a good million, thousand, hundreds of levels. And we're going to type emote slash Zeus. Or we can just, again, do this. So check it out. We've Zeused. Ein, yo, it hurt me. You gotta be careful. You know, you got a chance of it taking damage. So, once again, Zeus in it. Oh my goodness, don't put me on fire. Great, this isn't what I had in mind at all. Third time's a charm. Zeus. I said Zeus. Do yay. I love that. Praise the thunder god. Every time you use the emote, lightning will strike all around you. And look at what happens every once in a while. Iron ore has a chance of turning into iron blocks when you use the emote. However, it will cost you a certain amount of levels. You see the levels down there? If we use the emote, we will actually lose out on five levels every time we use it. But I'd say that's worth the iron.
Next up, we've got ourselves a cooking emote as well, and it works in a very unique way. When you hold an iron hoe and have at least 10 levels, you can instantly cook food. It won't cost you an experience, but it will make you hungry. <laughs> Think about the delicious meal you're about to have. Hey, that's convenient. How fast can you cook 30 items compared to a normal furnace? Well, I guess we will find out right now. We got raw pork chips right here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we're gonna place them in here instead. So they're starting to cook, right, right, right. But we're gonna hold the hoe, and we're gonna be begin our cooking process. Look at this. I slowly, I guess, I hoe the furnace and it makes it, uh, um, <laughs> well, I don't know, but it, it's nice. It works real good. Well, check it out. Look at this. Yeah. Working on something in there. Must be hoeing away at the well, whatever. As you can see here, it is beginning to cook all the pork chops extremely quickly. And like I said, you're able to spam click this thing. But boy, are we getting hungry. Hunger 3, it's a good thing we cooked all the food instantly. Oh, we would have a bad time. And then meanwhile, this is only cooked 4 over here. Holy moly, that is OP. Up next, feed glowstone. What is this one about? I gotta check this out. If you're holding glowstone and you use feed, you can feed a mob the glowstone and they'll glow for 30 weeks. <laughs> glowing mobs? Oh yeah. Glowing mobs have a small chance to drop more glowstone than they started with. The crystals grow inside their digestive system. Ick. Gross. How much glowstone can you get back with just 10 glowstone? Okay. Well, let's see. We're gonna find out right now. I'm gonna feed some of these stupid cows glowstone. Hey, that's hilarious. Ooh. Oh, I forgot it's a quark mod, so they've got like different looking knives. Buddy, uh, we're gonna stuff some glowstone in you. Don't take it personally. How do we, where's the feed? I've fed you, so check it out. The cow is now glowing, and apparently when we kill this poor thing, there's actually a chance that he's gonna drop even more glowstone than we fed him. So I'm curious, what can we, what we got, what we got? Oh, okay, well you could drop nothing too. I guess it just kind of depends on your luck. Well, why don't we go ahead and try again. Feed, I fed him the glowstone, and it, look, it took one for me. Now don't! What do you got for me, Betsy? Stop running. You're making this difficult. Come on. Nice. Well, we got one back. The idea here is that you can get many if you're lucky. I'm curious, though. Can we just feed a whole bunch at the same time? Hey, little cow, you're glowing now. Isn't that good? Hey, I'm trying to feed you. Get back. I know it's not wheat, but, you know, times are tough. What about you? What are you going to drop me, huh? Two. Two. Two for the video. Make it a good video. Come on. None? Oh, okay, we got one. Well, stupid. What about you? What are you gonna give me? <laughs> Whatever. Next up is shear. Works in a similar way. Check out this book. You can shear to give sheep a proper shearing. Hold shears and use shear on the sheep. This will let you hold right click for four seconds and constantly shear sheep while it's still. It's gonna cost you six levels though, and you need at least 15 in order to perform the BLD to begin with. I have no idea what I just said there a second ago. We're gonna get this sheep. We're gonna place him right here in his fun little corner. Hey, buddy. And we're gonna dye him. We're gonna hold the shears. Hey, this might hurt a little bit, buddy. Time to shear the sheep. And look at this. Look, you see me shearing him? It's funny. We're gonna continue to right click while we shear that sheep. Oh man, he ran out of wool. We weren't fast enough. But we've got a whopping 16 wool from that one sheep. And all he's gotta do is eat a little more grass. Eat a little more grass. Okay, let's try this again. Shearing that sheep. Oh yeah. Shearing him real good. How many did we get off of two sheep? We almost got a full stack of wool. Extremely useful. And so is this next emote we've got right here. Rest. Hey, get a load of this one, huh? This is a very simple ability that you need a quick health boost. It will freeze you and blind you for 20 seconds, but you'll regain health. And you'll also get a little bit hungry, you get a little bit weak, but it's all worth it. It only costs one single level. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch of damage to myself. I and it hurts. And the moment we have low health, you can instantly see why this rest emote is so dang useful. Time for us to rest. <sighs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, look at my health. We've completely healed. Well, by completely, I mean kind of. We've done a good amount of healing, except we are weak now, and we are, well, we got a little bit hungry. It's a good thing we cooked all that pork chop from before. Isn't that nice? You also get frozen in place, because obviously you're not supposed to be able to move while you're resting, so I can't actually move right now. All I can think about <laughs> is this delicious pork chop. Ooh, 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 this next one's gonna be so good. Feed TNT? That's right, we can do other items with the feed emote. Feed a mob TNT and it can explode at any moment. Or not? 
Who knows? I know. I'm gonna try and do it right now. Let's see. We are gonna feed a cow <laughs> TNT. Hey, 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 stupid. Hey, stop moving. I'm trying to feed you. Emote, feed. <laughs> I fed him too, too. Look at him. He's starting to... Uh-oh. 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 Oh my goodness! <laughs> Did you see that? Oh wow! Poor Betsy! How about the skelly? I'ma feed the skelly. Hey, you've been fed. Yeah, don't go under this. Now you see, uh, you, asked, you asked for that one. Now you're burning. And hopefully explode while you're at it, huh? I yo, he's trying to fire off at me still. Well, I'ma let him do his thing right over there. I'ma try and feed this to a bat real quick. Apparently I can do that. Oh yeah! Oh, man, explosions in the sky alert. Oh, I'm going to feed a few. Uh-oh. Well, we just missed the poor skeleton blowing up. Well, you know, I guess he kind of he kind of asked for it. I feed the bat. All right, we're going to come more of these babies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, no. Oh, the bats are blowing up everywhere. Oh, this is my new favorite emote. Next emote is Smite. This is a PV. M, well, probably PvP related as well. Essentially, when you use smite around other mobs, you'll deal hard damage to them with a radius of five blocks. It costs three experience. So we're gonna go ahead and spawn in a few of our friends right here, and we're gonna just... Ein, they're hurting me. We're gonna have to hold it. Yeah, not today. Thank you. Stay close already. Uh, which one smite? I'm running out of time. Smite, which I smite! What did you use? Oh, but Oops, <laughs> I don't know if I was holding the sword or not. We need to be holding the sword when we do that. We're gonna try this again, more contained by Smite! Yeah! Well, wow, that did some serious damage. Although, I gotta see, I wanna see what the emote looks like. Whoa! Oh, nice! Oh, wow, it's like a battle stance. Look at that. You know, it's taking up all my levels, though. You see me levels we just burned through doing that? There, now we're in creative mode so that we can just do. Oh! That is serious damage! Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh! Next is the vault. Use vault to vault yourself. Well, that makes sense. Over any too high gap if you're wearing leather boots. So, you see here, we can't jump over this. Uh-huh. Because we suck. We can't do it right. But if we wear the leather boots... Uh, I try to edit the sign, Cork. We got the leather boots on. Mm-hmm. And now, we're going to try and vault. Look at that. Yo, climbing up. Except... I kind of got to be a little bit fast. Look at that. That's nice. Oh, okay. Ever so slowly. Vault on up. Mm -hmm. It's like bonus options. It's like new gameplay technique. Yeah, you see that sheep eating grass over there? Yo, I'm a shear him. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> shear. All right, we got to be fast for this one. Vault. Yeah, nice. I'm a climber. Uh oh, yeah, it might have been useful to land in the water instead. Not worried about it. What the heck? What the heck? Am I missing? How am I supposed to get underneath this? Oh, wait, I'm supposed to just. <laughs> we're supposed to vault still. Oops. Yeah, well, that makes sense, okay? Feed a mob a wither skull. How many different feed options do we have right now? And what is this one gonna do? You cannot survive eating a wither skull. If you feed a mob a wither skull, they will get withered forever. Useful against particularly difficult mobs, such as the Elder Guardian. It will take time, but they will eventually die. Yikes, that's kinda that's morbid. Why don't we try the witch for the time being? I'm a feature. You're gonna be fed. I've fed you a lovely wither skull. Aren't you appreciative of me? Look at that. Keep on giving it to him. An Elder Guardian, too. Oh, don't mind if I, except we kind of have to feed. Did I, did, I don't think it fed him. Come back. I want to feed you. Yeah. I missed. Yeah. Did I, come on. You stay put already. Boom. <laughs> Naturally, I miss being paused and I got it. And you couldn't tell the witch died and, and this guy don't have too much longer for this world either. Right. We probably just move on. Praise. That one's up next. Praise to Quark and Vazki. Oh, and Mother Nature, I guess. Do this on gold block and she might give you a small blessing. But if you do this too often, within 20 minutes of each other, then she may get angry at your dependence on her. You reset your score by, yeah, well, that's for me. So let's see what the praise is all about. Which one? Praise. Hey, hey, hey. Well, he wants the gold bar. Give it to me. It's hanging out right above me. Where's my, it did it, what? Oh, absorption. So we need to be in game mode zero to see exactly what's happened here. Wow. So we got some extra hearts. Good deal. Four to be exact. Now listen. I assume it's the last one. Right. Well, go to the caves for this ability. What is that talking Yeah, it's the last one, so it better be good. It can be tricky tracking out mobs, but you can hear, but you can't quite find. That's why you listen. 
right? So, <laughs> sorry, loud. When you listen, briefly see the location of random zombie, the 16 blocks of you of one exists. It doesn't simply glow them, though. There's a unique way of finding mobs. So we're going to a cave system. So we're here in an underground cave system, as was advertised, and there is a zombie over there. So I'm just curious to see what happens when we try and listen. We're listening. I've, I'm listening. Uh, can I? Oh! Wow! It takes me to him! Wow! Hey! That is really neat! Look, I will teleport to the- Wow! And I take him over, no less! Amazing! <laughs> Sweet. You asked for this zombie. Idiot. <laughs> Can't do anything. Ah! <sighs> Probably for the best. But, my friends, that is all the emotes that we've added using the amazing Quark Mod. You can now hook emotes. And not only can you make your own, but you can make them do special things using commands, functions, and everything in between. So go check them out for yourself. You can find the download for it in the link in the description of this video. So much thanks to Vasky as well as Xavier for this amazing map slash emote slash showcase. You guys are the best. Everything you need, like I said, in the description. If you enjoyed, drop a like on the video. Of course, subscribe. So you can see the next video as it comes out. Hit that bell. Be swell. Be notified. And uh, other than that, we're going to leave things right there. Enjoy the emotes and we will see you tomorrow.